Well, hello all you beautiful humans. It's Chicken Johnny and I'm down in the plant room. And I got a package today in the mail. This package came from the Nicker Sink Farms. Nipper Sink Farms. If you haven't gone over and watched some of Nipper Sink's videos, they have got some excellent videos on market farming. And uh, so I'm going to open up this package and you can see what we got. I, I know what we've got because I ordered it. Invoice tells me what I got. Gives me some other details. And then I got this wonderful piece of cardboard. Just right off the bat, I'm gonna tell you they didn't uh, they didn't skip any expenses on the shipping. They've got cardboard all the way around them. And let's see, got a tie in there. Let me cut that. We've got some seed trays. Hopefully the camera's picking that up okay. These, uh, I forget how many cells there are. Uh, these are 128 sell seed trays and they sell them over at the nipper sink farm and John I'm not going to drive my car over them or jump on them but I will tell you that these are going to last me a lifetime uh, I plan on using these for planting um, well cabbage and broccoli for one thing you can get away with planting them in a small cell like that um, I'm also probably going to use these for tomato starts and some other things. It would be nice, 128 trays, you'd have to uh, plant them up pretty quickly, but go right from here, right from this, looks like about a one inch tray or one inch uh, opening. On tomatoes and peppers, if I planted them in here, I would probably want to step this up to a three inch pot and then plant them from a three inch pot. But, I also ordered these. These are 75 cells, I think, 70 something, 72 maybe it is. And these are about an inch and a half. Now, the reason that I bought these, this is a standard 1020 tray. And if these fit into this standard 1020 tray, if they fit right, then I'm glad I bought them. And they do, they fit perfectly into a standard 1020 tray. So I'm happy with my purchase so far. Now we're going to use these over the next uh, couple seasons, but by the end of the planting season, I'll be able to tell you if I like these or not. But I'm going to show you a couple of features that I like about them. I've been looking for a really heavy tray like this. And Haas Tools has two different sizes. They're a little bit bigger than these. And um, they look like they're really good trays. The reason that I chose not to buy the Haas Tool trays and bought these instead is because these, unlike Haas Tools trays, they do not, these fit into a 1020 tray. Now everything that I have from the time I put a seed into the ground until the time I'm out transplanting the stuff into the field, all of my devices are set up for a 1020 tray. That includes my vacuum seeder, it includes my double boards, it includes my germinating solid, my grow shelves, my uh, flood tables, all of those are designed around or uh, they were set up to accommodate 
a 1020, a standard 1020 tray. These are much heavier than a standard 1020 tray that I buy in the store. And if you look at the bottom, you should be able to see right through there. There's a small lip all the way around, and these are tapered uh, going in. I don't know what the degree of taper is. It's not much. But the soil should hold in there just fine. You're going to need to pack it in a little bit tighter, but we pack it in pretty tight anyway <clears throat> when we plant our plants. So uh, this is going to be good for us. It's going to allow us to uh, reuse these trays. A standard 1020 tray uh, 50 cell insert that we buy uh, through Johnny's or through uh, Greenhouse Megastore or any of those, uh, we'll get several seasons out of them. In fact, the last set I bought was a little heavier duty, but you're not going to get 10 seasons out of them. These you will. Now, just off the bat, before I've even used these, and I've never used Hoss Tools trays, if you're not set up around a 1020 tray, uh, you may be just as happy buying the, Hoss, the trays from Hoss Tools. And I think these were about, um, I think these ended up being, well, I got the invoice right here. Well, there's no, yeah, these ended up being right around $12 a piece. I don't know what the ones from Haas Tools are, but these are about 12 bucks a piece. Buy them 10 at a time. I bought two cases so I'd get free shipping. And uh, I've got these two sizes. Now you can also get the 50 cells uh, per tray size. And I will probably buy some of those once I've, well, once I've depleted my resources of cells. I don't see any downside on these. I, they're, they're really heavy. I mean, put a tray underneath these and you'd be able to carry them with one hand even with a cheap tray underneath them. Now they do sell a heavier duty uh, 1020 tray and I might buy some of those. I, I don't think so though. I only use the trays right now for the first five or six days when the tray is in the germination chamber then they come out when they sit into the flood pans or flood tables and then they'll go back into the tray when they get transferred out to the greenhouse but when they go out to the greenhouse uh, I anticipate they're just going to go into flood trays again and um, we won't you know we won't have them in bottom trays and then we'll have to put them in bottom trays when we take them out to the field these, I don't even know that we'll need to ever really put them in bottom trays other than in the germination chamber. Hey, listen, I hope you've enjoyed this. Take a look over at, uh, at Nipper Sink Farms, and uh, if you leave a comment anywhere, tell them Chicken Johnny sent you. In Mitzer Shem, I'll see you again. Eat your vegetables. Thanks for stopping by.